your family pretty excited about you know, Arizona State? And <laughs> yeah, my, my family's very ecstatic. I got, like Tyler said, I got around 70 people going to. Um, you know, I tried to get tickets for the game, but my family already knew. Just buy ahead of time, get them all together. You know, we're excited as a family. So, especially going back home. You know, one of those things when they recruited me, and I found out we're playing ASU my sophomore year. It was kind of, you know, it was definitely intriguing to come play football here. That's kind of a an area that MSU's tried to recruit more and more. So, how do you feel about about that? Like that that area is a as a recruiting spot for the next first state. I, I think it's huge. I think it's huge. Um, Arizona high school football is, is sometimes overlooked, but um, if you look at our talent that we've put out in our state throughout universities around the nation, you know, it, it can vouch for itself. Speaking for, you know, we're going against one of the most high-powered receivers, Nikhil Harry, next, uh, next week. He's from Chandler, Arizona. I played with him my freshman and sophomore year. And uh, we're still close to this day, but definitely you know, we put out some high power, high power players. Considering last year we played Christian Kirk at A and M, that's uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So you know, we we'll definitely get our name out for Arizona, and hopefully we continue to. For the first time in quite a while, you guys have the same defensive coordinator for consecutive years. How much does that help, especially on ball camp? Instead of having to learn a new defensive scheme from scratch to just pick up where you guys left off and just be able to insert new new plays and stuff like that? Um, it's huge. It's it's really huge, especially coming, not particularly my part, you know, it's you don't have to learn year by year, but um, especially for the new guys or, or the guys that were redshirted, like the defense tackle playing next to Miles Veen, you know, he was a redshirt last year, but he's not having to worry about learning a whole new scheme, you know, he's, he's He's starting where he, where he left at, you know, and, and and he's able to grow, and he's been able to grow, and I'm really excited to play next to him, and, and especially at our defensive ends. Um, going into his senior year, Stody Bradley, you know, he's 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 comfortable. Our D line's comfortable with with our movements, with our base defense, and we're excited. You know, we're excited to create some havoc. With yourself and Miles, and maybe Allen. I mean, I asked Coach about just playing against that up tempo offense is like. You think that's right. feel good about the rotation? And right, that mission of, of Calvin Allen is huge, uh, especially considering you know I'm a true sophomore. Miles Bean is a redshirt freshman, and Desante Lloyd, you know he 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 got he got hurt last year, so bringing in a Pac-12 experienced uh, type of defensive tackle not only helps us on the field but also in the classroom and and, and watching film. He points out things and doing our twists and everything and. He uh, is little things that he's helped us with, especially me in particular, you know, and he, he's played the highest stage, played the highest teams, you know, with USC, all the U of A, ASU, all, all the big schools. He's played against them. He's played for them. And, you know, it's exciting to learn from someone that's that's been there and, and taking advantage of, you know, a power five school. It's the same scheme, but it seems like you are more aggressive in terms of putting, trying to get pressure on the quarterback and stuff like that. Like what what's... Um, what do you think – does that give you guys a better chance to be successful? Uh, of course, of course. Um, a lot of getting pressure on, on the quarterback is always a, a big thing for our defense, uh, especially for our defensive backs. Applying pressure on the quarterback makes their job easier, makes our job easier. Um, you know, it forces them to run the ball, which uh, me in particular I like, you know. But uh, the new coach, Coach Muffer, has the D-line, he uh, – He's definitely put a lot more emphasis on, on pass rush this year, and and when he when he came in and we loved it, you know we love we love him and, and everything he's done. He loves the game, and and we listen to him and you know everything he showed us, you know it works. So we're excited. We're excited for the season. We're excited to be coached by him and ready to get it going. Do you think um, you guys can improve in that regard in pressure? I know you're. You, you're pre you've been practicing against yourselves for, for uh, up until now, so have you seen improvement in getting to the pass rush or putting pressure on him? Uh, a tremendous amount, especially speaking for myself, you know. Um, and, and like I said, we're excited. We're very excited. Um, we, we players have bought into that. Players like doing that. hundred percent, hundred percent. We've all bought into his word and everything he's taught us. And um, 
you know, we'll keep some pointers here and there from our old coach, uh, Kerry Lachlan, but everything that he's uh, – Mumford's about, we're completely 100% for him. So we completely brought into the process with him. What does it feel like in the other dog going into this game? Uh, no different than any other game. You know, it's, it's, we're ready to step on people's toes and get it going, you know. And, and it's about that time we go into games and we get some respect, you know, and – Especially as a defense, you know, we 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 we've earned we've earned to finally get our name out, and and we're excited, like we say. Especially being, like you said, the second year underneath Coach Spaziani, we're ready to get it going and ready to earn some respect. I know you guys had a tough game for your starting, and then you're gonna play in a real tough game with your rival. How does that feel with these two tough games back to back? Uh, right now, going into the summer and everything, we've. It, it's all been about Arizona State, and and we'll worry about New Mexico come Friday. You know, until Thursday, it's all about Arizona State, and that's what we're worried about, hoping to get the job done. Roy, you were a wrestler in high school, is that right? How did, does that help you at all playing college football? Huge. It's, 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 it's huge. Um, wrestling has taught me more about my body and more about what I can go through than anything in my life. Um, I've been wrestling since I was two years old. Um, it's a hard sport, and every every day is a grind. And and be able to control my body and my weight the way I had to in wrestling has definitely helped me, especially with college football.